Good morning and welcome back everyone to another Sumi Shays video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team Allblade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking into the video and for joining me. Hopefully you got yourself something cold and caffeinated and enjoyable and a comfy chair. Will and I did. Welcome to the Shave Dad. I'm thrilled to have you here. Today's going to be an awesome duel. Today we're rocking out with two of some of my favorite razors, whether you're a starter shaver or an advanced shaver, guys. We're going to be rocking out with the Thorn Razor from Leaf. I have modded this so that it's got the adjustable, uh, more aggressive plate on the black head. We did that in a separate video. So this is a twig body with a thorn plate. Essentially, it's just a thorn with a gold bar there. I really like this. And we're going to be competing it with the new AL13 2022 Henson Razor. And this is their medium shaver. Both razors today are going to be loaded up with some Persona Lab Blues. And we're going to be seeing if the new Henson can keep up with the Thorn. Now, the old one for me did not. The, new, the old plus plus plate did not quite keep up, but the aggressive one did. In my opinion, this now shaves very similar to the aggressive. So I want to find out today how it shaves alongside my Thorn. Keep in mind, this is right here, one of my favorite razors of at least 2021. And honestly, one of the best razors that I've picked up for a head shaver. I love how small it is. I like how nimble it is. I like how light the head is for head shavers. And I really think it benefits both the new, like I said, the new shavers and advanced shavers. And the new Henson is filling that role for me as well. My wife likes both razors. I feel like both razors kind of fit um, the profile of both gendered. I don't think they're really gendered. I think they work for all situations of shaving purpose needs. I really like them. And I want to find out how they do side by side. So let's go on a journey together and see together if one you know, is better than the other one. We're going to be doing that with Atomic Pumpkin from PAA. Atomic Pumpkin. It's a fire blast in a jar. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. It smells like fireball. If you ever sucked on one of those little uh, hot, hot like uh, spicy cinnamon balls, I don't remember what they called those hot ball. I don't remember. I don't remember what they called those. Honestly, cinnamon candies. They remind me of a cinnamon candy. Or for us adult people, it reminds me of fireball. It reminds me of fireball. Having weekends with fireball and the alcohol splash that is in the actual um, splash of it, the extra alcohol to it definitely reminds me of fireball. It's a hundred percent reproduction of fireball. I've got that loaded into my brush from body and take a look here guys take a look this is the ck6 stuff you guys see this this is the ck6 stuff and the knot i just wanted to remind you guys this is that 30 mil knot that is just absolutely coated in that so in that soap look at this look how much soap we have going on here it's on the dome already it is giving me a slight tingling effect from the cinnamon just be aware that this is heavily heavily cinnamon forward very cinnamon all oh, the wag all day long guys really nice ah so good can't wait to knock it off cannot wait to get it off all right so we're gonna get our hand across a little bit of alum let's get shaving i'm really excited to talk about these while we shave keep in mind i am an affiliated member of leaf right i do represent leaf as far as the shaving world right it's like us little guys right they did um allow me to uh kind of work with them and what that means if you're curious that what that means guys is they allow us to have a discount link uh on our um on our description below all right did i do this wrong the right side yeah no no we want to do i'm gonna switch it up sorry about that wrong passes we're gonna start with the henson guys we want to start with the henson and the reason why is because we're gonna see today if um the thorn can take up anything on the right side of my head I've been talking with Last Shadow, and we're gonna see. We should have. He, uh, we really think that maybe the victor of the den should go second, and then do the uh, clean up on the right side. So we're gonna do that that way instead. I totally spaced. I apologize for that. I uh, misshaved there. I was. I got too excited to bust out my thorn. I really do love the thorn. Like I said, I am a person that is uh, backed by Leaf, and to prove that, we have that um, five percent off for shavers, and we're one of the first people to have that. Um, that it's down below and I'm really excited to offer that to people here that come to the channel and that um, that do want to um, you know, get a good product but don't want to have to pay full price and that was my goal 
I, it's a, it's, if you see anything down there on my description, everyone, I just want to mention it's because I do back the product and because I use the product and like the product on a daily basis. It's not just because I'm, you know, trying to fill up slots down below. I really do love, and I just get the best shaves with leaf products. I really do. And I back at them, right? I just bought the $500 leaf elite set. I made that happen. I actually bought it. I was just so excited. And I do trust Adam to release good shaving razors. Here we go. You guys can see that we've got 30 hours of growth. I really just want, I love the Henson. The new AL22, I'm going to mention it right now, right here. I really do love this razor. I think it's phenomenal. I think, look how much um, lather it takes off. For being an aluminum razor, keep in mind, I am not usually a huge fan of how aluminum feels on the skin. Compared to brass, stainless, titanium, you mention it. I am not, the aluminum fall is the very least. Even beneath ZMAC, you know, PBD, you like any of the other finishes. I just, I don't love aluminum usually. But this works really, really good. Oh, it's close. It's really close. It's very comfortable. I'm, I'm wrong side. Wrong side. Like something's wrong here. It has a little bit of blade fill, guys. A little bit, like compared to the last one, it has probably twice as much blade fill. But the blade fill on it is not extreme. I do feel like this still is like low medium, right? It is more medium than last time. Let's put it that way. More medium that for me than last time. But it still falls in that category of it's probably not gonna like. It's not a super ultra high end efficient medium razor, but. Very smooth shaver, very smooth shaver. Okay, that side is done. We are clean and re get ready for this. Let's do it. Let's do it really, really fast. Yeah, look at this. That's the Henson, the Henson for you right there. Beautiful, absolutely easy to wipe off that lather. There's no stubble, BBS, and it's fast. I can shave my whole head in like eight minutes with that razor. It's awesome. I really like that. Seventy bucks. Get you the Henson, the new one. Now, when it comes to blade fill, I do feel like the Thorn has more blade fill, guys. Has more blade fill. It's more efficient for sure. And I like the head on this razor a lot. So, like I said, I do prefer the finish of PVD even versus uh, the aluminum. Oh, I love how this fills across my skin. This will bite you. I, I want to mention that. I know the um, Henson doesn't tend to be as aggressive. This definitely has a more medium feel to it. It may still be like mid-tier medium, right? It's not like ultra, me yeah. Much, much more efficient razor. Much more efficient. But um, I think both can give a great shave. That's what I was trying to get across. Like they feel very different. And I want to put that out there. They feel very different. You have a DE versus a single edge. And the single edge definitely comes across as having a different vibe. But if I was a new shaver, this thorn would at first probably feel a little bit like intimidating. Look at all that stubble coming off. Probably a little intimidating, but after two or three shaves, you're gonna have it down where it's like easy and, and thoughtless and fast. Oh, my heavens, what a shave. You forget sometimes, you know? You're using other products and then you go back to your razor, your daily driver, the, the one that's guaranteed to make you BBS, you know what I mean? And there's just something about using that razor that you love. It just feels like an extension of your hand. Oh, oh, so good. So easy. I do love how easy this razor sits against my skin. It just really is the easiest uh, of the world to me. It just really is the easiest of all shaving worlds. Man, it's sweet. Man, that is just nice all day long. Really good. Wow, guys, take a look. Take a look at this. It's no joke here. No joke. It is efficient, and it definitely has some filter. Just, just know with uh, Permis Persona Lab Loose, it's close. It's <laughs> it's so dumb close. I love both of the razors. I really do. I think both of those are awesome, especially for new shavers. If you're a new shaver, and you're really like. Huh, I wonder what it's like to get into the safety razor world. Now is the perfect time. It really is. So many of these guys are releasing razors that almost shave for you. They're so easy to pick up and use. But I, I don't want you guys to take my word for it. We're going to grab um, a little bit of... I actually missed a spot. How dare I? I missed a spot right here. You see this? I can see it. I'm like, how? nope, we can't, we can't let that go across. No, we easily clean that up. Make sure the other side is done as well. Come on now, soups. Don't want to, don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here. There we go. Didn't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Okay. 
So we got both sides absolutely BBS, absolutely BBS. We're gonna go on at a little more lather and we're just gonna do a cross lap with go, um, kind of going backwards and see if we can get anything off of one, one side with the other razor. Just to kind of see if one is shaving closer than the other. Because you may feel like you got a close shave and then realize if you try to go over with another razor, you get some off. And today I just wanna find out, is this really shaving as close as it feels? So we're gonna grab the Henson and we're gonna go on top. We're gonna to see if we get anything off. You can see it takes that um, soap right off, which I like, I like this new Henson. This new Henson feels very easy to use. It's very light, it's very nimble. If you're into light razors, it is half the weight almost of the Henson or the Leaf. So, I mean, I do like the weight. I do like the longer handle. I do like that they changed the lather bar so it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't like, clog up anymore mine didn't really have that problem but i will say i had heard other people that had and i don't think they're gonna have that problem anymore take a look here you guys tell me you guys tell me i'm not seeing any stubble whatsoever in this lather whatsoever it is nothing nothing guys absolutely nothing i can't feel anything it feels like an ice skate honestly on my head yeah i don't feel anything that's kind of what I expected. Yeah, nothing. It feels very comfortable though, I won't lie. Like sometimes when I do this last pass, yeah, even like this is usually where I get in trouble, right? Where I start doing this double swiping and stuff like this, nothing. Nothing's coming off, guys. That's kind of what I imagined. I thought the same thing. I was like, I just don't see the Henson shaving closer. Now let's get this other side around and see how it does. I'm not positive if we're gonna get anything off. The Henson did a good job, so we'll see. Very much like an ice skate. This is awesome, man. Talk about two marshmallow razors, right? Two marshmallow only underneath the rainbow, just doing the lucky charm dance. About that, I had a copper piece. Copper piece from doing some uh some polishing. Floating around in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this right here is solid, wow. I don't know if I had anything off. Yeah, stuff's coming off. Look at that, stuff is coming, guys. I'm trying to get it in there, trying to showcase it. There is stuff coming off for sure. You see all that stubble? Yeah, it's coming off. I got a little bit off on this side. I could feel it right here. The thorn, but it comes with a little bit more bite, but it's definitely the closer for me of the two shaves. Just barely closer. Regardless, I think both razors are phenomenal. I mean, I honestly, I thought a lot more would be coming off. If I had done this with the previous generation Henson, a lot more would have been coming off with the um, plus plate. The plus plus plate, excuse me, with the medium plate. I'm not getting, I mean, you guys can see here, it's coming off. I'm getting a little bit of, like, a little bit of schmeg. A little schmeggery going on there. Just a tiny little bit. Nothing major. Yeah, just a little bit. It felt weird. I could feel this side just not being quite as, like, it's as, it, uh, like, crystal, right? There's a, just a different feeling to having your head be completely crystal. It was BBS, but it wasn't, like, subdermal, right? It wasn't a subdermal. The thorn gives me a subdermal. It really does. Like, it feels like I'm cutting the hair so low that it'll never grow back. Yeah, right? You can even see. I don't know if you guys are seeing it on camera, but, like, the actual skin tone has changed using the thorn on top just a little bit like the actual tone of my skin changes love the thorn i'm gonna still give the edge of the thorn i don't care given the edge of the thorn it, it definitely feels different it doesn't feel like a de but it, and it does have more fill to it so i would say the thorn is less user friendly as far as new shavers but probably more medium uh, medium to advanced tier right so if you're a brand new shaver henson it's, it's almost impossible to beat but as soon as you get a little bit of practice under your belt Man, that thorn becomes, <laughs> it becomes like almost impossible. One of my favorite razors in my den, and guys, it's like 60 bucks. It's like 60 bones, 60 bones. I mean, what else can you do right here? Absolutely 
Oh my goodness, what a shave. It's so fun. So much and fun to use. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. I know my eyes are watering. The cinnamon's flaring up. It's flying wild. It was so much fun to see you guys. I'll catch you in the next Subi Shares video.